Beacon, now in its sixth year, was created to provide the St. Petersburg community with a fresh performance platform geared toward bringing dance into greater prominence in the area. And with Beacon 22 right around the corner, we are glad to welcome in Sharon McCayman, Beacon co-curator and dancer. Welcome. How are you? I'm great. Thank you for having me. I love talking about this because, you know, I even grew up, you know, dancing my little, you know, in school kind of thing like so many of us. So I feel like so many people can appreciate appreciate bringing this level of art back. And so let's rewind. You've been with the program three years, but yet you know when this program was created too. I do, yeah. I uh, was fortunate to actually be part of the inception in a small, tiny way. Yeah. Um, because Helen uh, French and Lauren Sloan, who were the other co-creators of the project, um, I was able to introduce them many years ago. And I think it was through that introduction that they then went on to develop this relationship and form Beacon. So it was really amazing to know that I took a small part in that, that meeting and that inception. And let's talk about the past six years overall. Mm -hmm. What has it meant? What has happened the last six years then before we look forward, of course, to this performance this week? For sure. I mean, we've been really fortunate because the Palladium has supported the project for the whole time. And so for the last six years, we've been able to really highlight the choreographers that are in St. Petersburg and some here in Tampa to bring them into that St. Pete community to showcase dance at a professional level. You know, I, I'm curious. I've learned I know being a part of this show like I've learned all about the theater community for instance let's talk a little bit about the dance community and the talent that is right here in the Bay Area I mean is it a small community that it seems like everyone's like yes let's get together we want to work together and then this just gives that platform or literally the stage to do so um, in a way I, I would say for sure our community when you compare it to like New York City we're small right but we're big for what we are yeah. right especially because we do span the whole Tampa Bay area there's definitely incredible dance that is happening in St. Pete, in Tampa, in Sarasota. So the whole community has really strong dance. But what Beacon does is it kind of creates a platform for um, multiple companies and performers and artists in this area to kind of converge on one night and showcase work. I, I love being able to hear about this and talk about the dance community overall. And I think, and one thing too that we've talked about a lot on the show is if someone sees something happening in their community, say a young dancer who hasn't hit that professional level yet even, that almost inspires. And you see people doing it in your community, which I think helps goal building. I think it helps people look forward to their future. Are you able to get that kind of feedback and what you've been able to do here in the community? Oh, for sure. I mean, one of the most rewarding things about the project and, and being able to present in St. Pete in this way is that it's so accessible and it's yeah. accessible to students of varying ages or even you know just community members of, of varying kind of degrees of interest in dance so to see how that has like a rippling impact is really exciting and to know that there's students who come and watch the performance who then really want to kind of continue with it so that maybe at some point they could then perform on that stage in this venue. Okay, so we've got a minute left. Now let's talk about the show at yes. hand. Beacon 22, yes. what can people expect? All right, so this year we have Project Alchemy is returning back to perform, which is a local dance uh, mm -hmm. company in St. Pete. Um, I'm actually presenting a work on stage. It's a video installation. Then there is um, Helen French is collaborating with Paula Kramer and and composer John O'Leary and artist um, uh, Carol and Robert and then we have Revolutions Dance it's just an incredible show filled with um, dance from all over actually the Tampa Bay community and just to know that you're seeing dancers that are in your backyard so to speak I feel like that always makes performances even more special Oh, for sure. I mean, to know that the what people are getting to see on stage and what even myself as as a producer that I'm getting to create opportunity to see this kind of work yeah. in this kind of venue is so rewarding and so exciting. And I'm learning more off camera, too, about our installations and what you're able to do, which sounds fabulous in itself. Just another reason, of course, to check out. <laughs> um, seriously, thank you for coming in and talking about this today. Oh, it's been my pleasure. We really appreciate you having us. Well, now let's give the details though so we can get people some tickets to go enjoy this too. We're talking about Friday night, folks. There's the website, Beacon St. Pete. It all happens at the Palladium like we've already touched on, but of course it is an evening of dance. I feel like it's celebrating the Bay Area. So thank you again for coming in and talking about oh, this today. Thank you so much for having me.